Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk you through eight of your health and safety responsibilities when it comes to welfare. Under the Workplace, Health, Safety and Welfare Regulations of 1992, as an employer, as far as reasonably practicable, you're required to provide your employees with certain welfare facilities, like toilets, changing rooms and drinking water. When we say reasonably practicable, we mean unless it's demonstrably awkward due to things like time, trouble, cost and physical difficulty. When establishing if something is reasonably practicable, you should sensibly use your judgment in terms of how much you would truly have to go out of your way. For example, if the difference between two options is a matter of a couple of hours or a couple of hundred pounds, it could be argued that the adjustments are reasonable to make. So let's dive in and take a look at eight of your welfare responsibilities. Employees or visitors shouldn't have to queue for a long period of time to use a toilet. For mixed use or women only toilets, you should have one toilet if you have between one and five employees, two toilets for between six and 25 employees, three toilets for between 26 and 50 employees, four toilets for between 51 and 75 employees, and five toilets for between 76 and 100 employees. You can see on screen the toilets to employee ratio for both mixed and male only washrooms, as well as the number of urinals for male only toilets. It's also important to remember that in toilets that will be used by females, you must provide a means to dispose of sanitary materials. You should provide employees with a suitable seated area to use during their breaks. Within the proximity should be a mean for employees to heat food or drink, as well as washing facilities. If you're in the construction industry, if necessary, sinks should be large enough for employees to fit their forearm in. This is to ensure employees can thoroughly wash their arm to prevent diseases like dermatitis. If you have employees working at a temporary work site, public toilets should be an absolute last resort as a means for washing facilities. Saving a few pounds isn't a justifiable reason. As far as it is reasonably practicable, you must provide your own running water and flushing toilets by hiring portable cabins and turning them into toilet facilities, for example. If the line of work employees are in requires them to change into and wear specialist clothing, like a uniform or personal protective equipment, otherwise known as PPE, for example, then you must provide them with suitable changing facilities. You must also ensure you have separate facilities for men and women. Your changing facilities should be easily accessible, provide a means to sit down, contain or be next to clothing storage and washing facilities, ensure privacy is provided, and enable employees to hang their clothing somewhere, something as simple as a hook or peg would do. While we're on the subject of changing in clothing, any PPE must be well looked after and stored in a suitable location, like a dry, clean cupboard, for example. Think about things like, are reusable items kept in good condition? Do you have suitable replacements available? It's also important to regularly monitor and review your PPE. Do you have someone who's responsible for this? Are employees using PPE if they should be? If not, why not? Are there any changes in equipment that might result in changes to your PPE needing to be made? It might also be worth hanging signs in the area where PPE is required as a reminder for employees. If you've any employees who are pregnant, as far as is reasonably practicable, you should provide them with rest facilities. The rest facility should be in close proximity to your toilets and provide the expectant mother with a place to lie down. If employees require wash facilities like a shower due to either the nature of their job or for health reasons, you should provide them suitable facilities which are readily accessible, are nearby changing rooms, supply hot and cold or warm water, provide soap and towels or another means to dry themselves and are adequately ventilated. You should provide men and women with separate wash facilities. However, there are a couple of exceptions to the gender separation rule. Providing there is a secure lock from the inside of the facility and that the facility is only intended to be used by one person at a time, it's acceptable to provide a gender neutral wash facility. If you provide wash facilities, don't forget about your Legionella responsibilities too. At worst, Legionnaire's disease can take lives. So it's crucial you're on top of your legal duties. You must understand how to do things like identify and assess any risks, manage risks, prevent or control risks, and keep and maintain required records. It's important to note that it's not enough to simply provide employees with welfare facilities. You must make sure that all your facilities are well maintained and clean at all times, and that there's always a supply of things like soap and toilet paper. And remember, 
These are just a few of your welfare responsibilities. For an in-depth look at what's required of your business, get in touch with our health and safety experts on 0345 844 1111.